Well, he did it. The founder of SpaceX and CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, followed through on his warning to move out of California. Musk moved from Silicon Valley to Austin, Texas, and Musk revealed this move during the Wall Street Journal CEO Council annual summit on December 1st. Hi, I'm The Business Guy. And today we're going to talk about why Elon Musk, as well as I, and so many others, are leaving California. And if you could do me a favor and please click the like button below in any of your comments, tell me what you think. And if you can also click the subscribe button when more videos come out like this, you'll get notified. Elon threatened to leave the Golden State in a tweet on May 9th, and on December 2020, he made true on his promise. Just like the U.S. Congress consists of two legislative bodies, the Senate and the House of Representatives, California State Legislature consists of the State Senate plus the California State Assembly, where each one of the 80 members represent at least 465,000 people. Democrats enjoy a three-fourths supermajority of the 60 seats, while the Republicans control a minority of the 19 seats and independents hold one seat. In a reply to Elon Musk, May 2020 lawsuit against Alameda County reopening his factory and the threat to leave, Democratic California Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez tweeted, F asterisk CK Elon Musk, to which Elon Musk replied, message received. Earlier this year, the Tesla billionaire sold two of his beautiful Bel Air homes in Los Angeles. Then in October, he quietly merged his charitable arm, the Musk Foundation, founded in 2001 in California, together with a newly created foundation in Austin. And last month, his boring company started posting openings in Austin and dropped a hint that an expansion to the area could happen soon. California's very strict lockdowns triggered by the coronavirus pandemic are also believed to have encouraged this decision. In fact, in May, Musk angrily tweeted that Tesla would move its headquarters to Texas or Nevada immediately after the local governments refused to let the company reopen its Fremont factory. Then holy cannoli, can you believe it? Oracle chief executive Larry Ellison, a friend of Elon Musk, last week said that Oracle was leaving California for Texas as well. Oracle the world's second largest software maker had called Silicon Valley home since the company's 1977 founding. Ellison, age 76, who has a net worth of about $76 billion, according to data compiled by Bloomberg, owns 98% of Lanai, Hawaii's sixth largest island that's mostly made up of Ellison's luxury hotels and resorts. In what looks eerily similar to Musk's and Elon's paths, Dropbox CEO Drew Houston recently purchased a home in Texas and plans to make it his permanent residence, according to a report from the information last month. And according to data posted in the Austin Chamber of Commerce website, by November, 39 companies in tech and other industries had found new homes in the city of Austin in 2020 so far, and more intend to migrate in 2021. Now, besides tech conglomerates mentioned above, the list also includes venture capital firms, startups, and consumer-centric brands such as e-cigarette maker Juul Labs. Now, while the pandemic has accelerated tech companies' move away from Silicon Valley, the trend actually started long before the COVID-19 crisis due to the area's sky-high cost of living and doing business. Elizabeth Edwards, the founder of H Venture Partners, a VC firm based in Ohio, told The Observer, Silicon Valley exodus is real. It is driven by a number of factors, taxes, and the cost of living being two reasons. She goes on to say, California state tax has become untenable for a lot of millionaires, and they will continue to make informed financial choices and follow in Musk's footsteps. If the booming real estate markets outside of San Francisco are any indication, some people have left for good. Now, why Texas? Well, first of all, Texas has no state income tax. Property taxes are a bit higher, but the government has to get the revenue from somewhere. Now, the city of Austin is more liberal politically in the mostly Republican state and has attracted startups and tech experts for the past 10 years. In fact, Smart Assets says that the best cities to be a liberal are number one, Seattle, and number two, Austin and then number three, San Francisco. So the politically left-leaning San Francisco bunch will fit right in, and again, there's zero state income taxes. Now, I personally left California for Florida in 2014. Why? Well, taxes and sunshine mostly. First of all, the year I left, my state income tax bill was higher than the U.S. median household income, and that was just the state tax bill. In Florida, where I moved, 
and Texas, where the tech gurus moved their companies, the state income tax rate, as we've said many times, is zero. So you only have the federal income tax, which is the same in all states. And California has the highest income tax rate of any state in the country. And in 2021, there is a 16.8% California state tax rate on the highest income earners, which is like placing a giant go away sign in front of some of the state's biggest job creators. Now on a minor note, there were horrendous earthquakes we felt in California that we personally experienced, much less so in Texas, and Florida is tied for first place as having the fewest earthquakes of any U.S. state. Now there are hurricanes, but at least you know they're coming. Now more importantly, according to California movers, housing prices in California are some of the highest in the country. California has the tax the rich political climate and there's a much lower cost of living in Texas. In fact, according to Zillow, the median home price in Austin, Texas, as of this video, is $384,000. In San Francisco, Zillow said it's a whopping 1.4 million. That's right, more than three and a half times more for the median house in San Francisco compared to Austin, Texas. Austin ranks number six as the best cities to raise a family, according to Smart Asset. In fact, many of those reasons are why Texas is the number one state Californians move to, according to Storage Cafe. In fact, I love it. People are very friendly and hospitable in the South. My wife and I have made friends very quickly and easily. I wear shorts outside in December, and instead of lining the pockets of the state politicians' pet projects, we'll put that same money in our own pocket. And that's why I and so many people left California. In 2014, I left, that was my home of 20 years, and more recently, Elon Musk and Larry Ellison and companies left California as well, you copycats. This is The Business Guy.